basically amounts to are the two dimensional layered materials and which is pretty similar to the graphene and unlike graphene these nanomaterials has tunable band gap and due to that they have an enhanced optical absorption which is in present in the graphene and basically this MOS2 nanomaterials is used for solid lubricant and on the other hand dark conversion nanoparticles are the nanoparticles which are being excited with the near infrared light and you get emission at the visible range mostly they are using in biomagic and due to their properties we can be used them as a photo detector in lab or life we use a lot of photo detectors a photo detector produces electrical signals when light falls on it a good detector produces more signal with low light intensity so the purpose was to make a high responsivity light detector in a nano scale our device is on a single flake of mos2 molybdenum disulfide with an active area of only about 5 micron square in this work we tried to use two materials one to absorb the light and the second one to transport the charge carriers so in this case the up conversion nanoparticles were used to electrostatically attach to molybdenum disulfide and when we shine light on it the light will be absorbed by the ucnp that means the up conversion nanoparticles and the charges it produces will be transported through the molybdenum disulfide to the contacts to produce the current so here is the device we use a chip with gold contacts and the active materials the nano materials are right at the center of this chip and here are the contacts from where we can collect the current when we shine light on it basically we wanted to develop a photo detector which can work in the nir light but due to the optical absorption properties of mos2 we also get down to the having the responsivity in the visible range also so now we have a broadband detection of this photo detector and apart from the photo detection this uh, sensor can be used as a power meter and as well as in the, some defense applications where the nir and the both UVB's range can be detected.